Hey guys, in this video, we'll be covering the Reputation tab inside the system. Now once you click on this, the first thing you will see is the dashboard. Before we jump into anything further, there's a couple of things that we have to make sure are set up. So let's dive into that first, and then we'll come back here again. So the first thing we have to make sure of is that our Google listing and Facebook account are integrated in order to make the best use of reputation management. For that, you'll have to head over to Settings and then scroll all the way down to where it says Integrations. Then you'll see an option to log in with Google. All you have to do is click on Sign in with Google. The key here is that you sign in with the account that has admin access to your Google listing. Once you've done that, click on Allow. In a few moments, it should integrate with the system. Once it's signed in, it'll ask you to select a page or a Google listing that you want to integrate. I'm going to choose this one right here. Right below the selection drop-down, you'll see this little checkbox here. If you click on this info icon, it says that if you do enable it, it'll replace the number that's in the system with your Google listing, and then it'll also track the text messages and everything. So if you want to track it and enable features like missed call text back and others, then keep it enabled. But if you don't want to use that feature for now, you can just uncheck it and then click on Connect. Once it's connected, it'll look something like this. Let's head back to another setting that we should update before we dive into reputation management. So what we'll do now is head over to the menu, scroll up a little bit, and then click on Reputation Management. Once you're on the screen, you'll see that we have a review link field right here. It'll be automatically populated, and if you want to see what it looks like, just copy the address and open it in a new browser tab. Now what you're seeing is your business listing on Google and where people can leave a review. They'll have an option to go to the reviews here and then add in a review. Now, if you want to take this one step further, what you can do is go to your Google business listing settings and then click on ask for reviews and then it will give you a short link that you can use. So just copy that, head back to reputation management in the system, and you can replace the link with the one that you have now and hit save. So this link is a bit of a shortcut. When you send a review request and people open it, it'll open something like this, where you can leave a review right away, rather than sending them to the business listing, and they have to click to get to the review prompt. Now back in reputation management, we need to scroll down a little bit and you'll see we have a section to control review request behavior. Here you can decide if you want to send a review request to somebody right away, or do you want to follow a custom schedule. If you decide to follow a custom schedule, you need to scroll down a little bit more where it will allow you to customize the settings for when you send review requests. You can add some delay or follow a custom schedule. And this goes for both SMS and email. But let's say you want to send the review request right away. Once you select that option, we're going to move down to the next set of settings. Now this section is for the SMS review requests so make sure this is enabled. This area is where you will build your messaging for when you use the Send Review Request option in the system. So here you can add an image if you want to. This is a good opportunity to add your logo to help brand your message. And then here you can basically type in the message. You can say something like, Hey, contact name. Thanks for your business. We hope you liked our services. Or something like that. And then the Review Request link will also go out with the message. Once you're satisfied, just hit Save and that's it. And you can do a similar thing with the email review requests. However, there's another field in the email section which is pretty cool. This is like a button that will prompt people to think about if they had a good experience, and you can title that button right here. Click on the button in the email and it will take you to the review request. Once you're satisfied with the settings, hit save, and then we're done. Now let's head back to the reputation tab again, and then go through the options that we have here. So the first thing we have is the overview where you can filter down the dashboard based on different date ranges. And then you can pretty much see everything that's happening across the listing. We do have another option here, which is Yext listings. So if you want to boost the citations to help with your local SEO, this is something you can activate, which is a paid service inside the system. And once you activate it, it'll automatically start building citations for your business. So that can help you with local SEO. Now, if you move down further, there are a few more stats you can see that can be helpful for you to understand how your business is performing on the reputation side. So this gives you a good idea. In the upper right, there is a blue button to send a review request. When you click on that, you can select a contact name from your existing contacts, or you can enter contact information here for a new contact to be added. 
you will have to click on Add Contact here before you can move on. So once you have that filled in, you can choose the Review Request mode. So of course, because this is a phone number here, I'm going to be sending the review request via SMS. Now once I click on Create a Contact and Send Review Request, this will send a message to the person to ask them for a review right away. Now after all that, we have another option on the top for requests. So if you have sent out a request to someone just like you saw that we did, that will show up here and it will also show you the status for if they have opened it or not. So this is a really good feature that allows you to see if your customer is responding to your requests or not. That way you can follow up with them if you need to. Then if we head over to Reviews, this is where you can see pretty much all the reviews that you have on your Google listing. And if you also have your Facebook page connected under Integrations and Settings, you can also add and filter through the Facebook reviews here. So this not only shows you all the reviews that you have on your listing, but also allows you to reply within the system right away. So if I need to respond to this customer, as you can see, they didn't have a good experience and left a one star. I can hit reply and then respond with an appropriate response here, and it will be posted to that Google listings review under replies. The next option we have is widgets, which basically allows you to create widgets out of your Google listing. So what you can do is you can create widgets like this or different templates as well. So if I hit create new, it'll give me an option to select the widget type. You can have the widget as a list just like here. You can also do a grid just like this one. And then we have some more options. Once you select the widget type, whichever one suits you, you can also define how many reviews you want to show. Let's say I only want to show only 10 reviews. I can do so. And then I can also decide if I want the source to be only Google or Facebook, so you can check whichever one makes sense. Then we do have the content tab here, so you can also define the heading. So we can say something like, see what our customers have to say. Something like that. And then that will be changed right here. You can also add in a description below that if you want to. Next we have the header, which is this part where it shows the reviews, the total count, and also a button for writing a review. You can disable that if you want to, but this is really helpful because if somebody lands on your website or your landing page where you have this widget installed, they can click on that button and then leave a review easily. If you go to the Appearance tab, you can select a theme. If you want to do a dark one, maybe your website is created in some dark colors, you can do so. Or, you can also customize the colors. And similarly, we have options to customize the fonts here as well, which is really good. So you don't need to get paid plugins and all that other stuff. And this widget will help you create pretty much everything you need to for your websites or landing pages. The next thing is, if you need to embed this code to a website. So let's say you have a WordPress website or any other website out there. You can copy this code and then embed it pretty much in any of your websites or landing pages you want to. Once you're satisfied, just hit save and then you can name it anything you like. You can also make it live if you need to and then hit save. Once you hit save, you will be able to see the Google review widget here that you just created, and then you also have options to create some more if you need to. Finally, the last part is listings. If you activate this, it creates business citations across all these different websites automatically, so you don't have to do it manually. And what it basically does is, it boosts your local SEO and ranking on the Google Maps. All right, so that was all about the reputation management in the system. I hope you found this video valuable and thank you for watching.